Hi, so we've come indoors to do our birdsong workshop. Um, normally I would do this all outdoors, but today we're indoors. Um, due to circumstances of um, the pandemic, we're all having to spend a little bit more time indoors. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to do this workshop. Um, I feel we're all feeling really overwhelmed by what's happening in the world. And one of the things that I love to do for myself is to spend time in nature and to be creative with nature or be inspired by nature. And one of the things that's really helping me through this strangeness that we're, we're, we're all feeling is uh, my connection with nature. It has always nourished me. Um, and the bird song, it just makes me feel happy. It's uplifting, going outside and listening to their purity of their song just it just feeds my soul and um, it makes me feel calm and peaceful and um, it's very very nourishing so i'd like to share that with you how can we um, express our feelings of the joy and happiness that the bird song gifts us um, through our art so here's just one example i'm showing um, you this was a pastel um, drawing done last year um, around about the same time it was springtime it was May here in British Columbia um, the birds were just bursting with joy and goodness and colour and I, I just wanted to capture that so that was that feeling this one I did just uh, last week um, and this is very much more about capturing the sound and movement. I didn't see any birds in it, but I heard their song and their, their um, the, the freshness of spring came through with this one. So it's all about expressing our feelings, how we're feeling about uh, the beautiful music that the bird songs gift us. I don't want to see copies of this. I want you to to express your own feelings. This is what this workshop is all about. It's about you, your feelings, your emotions. How are you feeling about the bird song? And um, what, what, what colors do you see? What movement do you see? So we're gonna be capturing the movement, the movement and the music um, through um, our feelings and ideas and thoughts and emotions and pouring that into um, the painting. First of all, what we're going to do is we need to kind of relax our bodies. We need to forget about what's happening in the world right now. We're just going to be present fully in the moment here right now to do our art. So we're going to take a quick meditation. I'm going to play some beautiful music called Sacred Earth and I'll give you a link to the, the, the music. So for our meditation, we're just going to sit comfortably. We're going to relax our shoulders, let them go. And we're going to take in a lovely big deep breath. And a big deep breath out. And another big deep breath in. And another deep breath out. And we're just going to close our eyes and we're going to think about the sunshine. Because we all need the sunshine to grow. The birds need the sunshine, we need the sunshine, the trees need the sunshine. And the sunshine gives so much warmth and beauty and light and love and energy. The energy. So we're going to breathe in that beautiful energy of the sunshine and we're going to become that energy. We're going to become that light, that love, that warmth. Okay, so we're going to take in a deep breath in. I am the sunshine. Breathing out. way to relax our bodies. Now because we're going to be using our hands and moving around we want to loosen up our fingers. So we're going to give them a big wiggle. So wiggles. I'm gently pulling them. It's a really nice rubbing and pulling each finger. Beautiful. So now we're relaxed and ready to start 
our first activity. So the first activity, I would like you to have a piece of paper. Now I've got an extra long piece of paper and card. You don't have to have that. You can just use any shape or size of paper. And all we're going to do is we're going to take a crayon or a pencil and we are going to start at one point of the paper and we are going to listen to some bird music and we're going to allow the bird music to take us on a journey. So it's all about the movement and the music. So you're moving. I want you to be really relaxed keep that lovely warm and glowing feeling and allow the bird music to carry you across the paper. Okay, so we're going to begin by putting the music on along with the meditation music that we just listened to and I'm mixing them up so it's really beautiful and relaxing to hear the meditation music and the bird song together. Once the bird song in. You feel that? So first of all, I need you to close your eyes. So you're gonna close your eyes, you're gonna take your crayon or your pencil and you're gonna start at one end of the paper and closing your eyes, you're just gonna let the bird song and music carry you across the paper. No control, you're just allowing it to flow organically, moving with the music and the beautiful bird song. Okay, how did that feel? That was lovely, allowing it just to be released. Okay, so this is my one. You can see that, that movement. Okay, so that was with your eyes closed and children love to see what they've actually drawn and created and what a, an experience to open their eyes and go, whoa! <laughs> uh, so all my nature art projects um, are for all ages and this, this workshop is for adults but we can simplify it to use for children as well and they really really enjoy having the surprise of opening up their eyes and seeing what they're drawing. So we have this, this interpretation of our bird songs. So that's our first activity with our eyes closed. Now we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to repeat it, but do it with our eyes open this time. So we're going to play the same music and we're going to do the same activity, but we're going to have our eyes open. So we want to turn over our paper, our card, and do exactly the same. Introducing that beautiful music again, feeling, breathe it in. Just close your eyes for a minute just to breathe that energy in, that warmth and sunshine, the light the energy of the birds, the beautiful bird song. Okay, so we're using our eyes now this time and we're just going with whatever we feel. Move with that beautiful music. Now my one has opened up quite a bit, it's much looser. It's much, much looser and much freer. So that's what I'd like you to experience as well. So just allow that lovely feeling that you're feeling, the feelings to pour into the flow. So it's all about the movement, the feeling of the music, the birds singing, the flute music. They seem to really complement one another. So that's the first exercise. So the second exercise, we're going to just need a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. And all we're going to do is we're going to um, listen to some bird music without the flute music, just the bird music. And we're going to um, share 10 descriptive words. It, it can be less or more, but I'm, here's just giving, asking you to provide me with 10 um, words that you feel. So I, when I listen to bird music, it makes me feel joy and peace and um, happiness and um, excitement. Um, the colors, what colors do I see? Well, depending on the music, I can see different colors. Um, so I want you, when you're listening to this music, what colors do you see? What do you feel? What are your emotions? 
what are your feelings? So just writing 10 words, it could be less or more, and writing them down. And then we're gonna share these later um, when we have our meeting after the workshop. Okay, so we're feeling a little bit, definitely like we're in with the birds. We're not outside, but we can hear them. They're beautiful, they make us feel good. I want that energy, that love, that joy, that beautiful feeling that birds give you. I'd like you to immerse yourself in that and then allow it to flow through you into your art. That's what this is all about. It's about your feelings, your emotions. Um, and I just, opening up that heart of yours and allowing it to flow through into your artwork. So as I said before, um, I used a large piece of card for this <clears throat> and I used pastels. So for this one, I'd like you the next activity um, to use a large piece of paper or card, as big as you can get. So here's a, an empty blank one. Now, anyone that knows me knows that pastels are probably my favorite thing to use just because I can, there's a freedom about them. It's a being able to smudge and merge the colors. Oh my gosh, I just love that. And with both of these, I used a little bit of um, coconut oil. You can use any oil for the smudging. I'm going to show you how to do that. And that's just a gorgeous experience. It's so sensory. Um, and it's just about allowing yourself to really go. And again, for this, it's really helpful to have the music and the bird song playing and uh, merging together just in order to get you into that zone. So we've relaxed ourselves, we're feeling free, like the birds. I want you to move when you're doing this painting, um, to move and feel like the birds, uh, expressing these feelings, these emotions that come to you, and just allowing them to flow out into your artwork. When we're creating, um, there's no judging. No one's judging your artwork. And there's no rules. It's completely just about sharing your feelings. I want to see you in that art that you're creating. I want to be able to see your spirit, feel your spirit, feel your love, your joy for the bird song. Um, and that comes naturally when you just let everything go. It's about fully expressing yourself freely. So there's no conditions, there's no rules, there's no judgment. Um, it's just how you feel and it's all good. So with your music on, you can begin your piece of art. And I'm just, I'm feeling a pale blue, this lovely pale blue sky right now. So that's obviously having an influence on me. So I'm going for pale blue to begin with and um, just to get that movement started. You can start at any point on the piece of paper. It's completely up to you where you want to start. And just allow that music, that the feelings, remember the 10 descriptive words, let them filter through into your art as well. Uh, just bring the joy, bring the love, the joy, the energy that you're feeling, the happiness, the happiness. Let that flood out into the flow of your art for the bird song. <laughs> starting point. So this is just the beginning. Um, where do I want it to go? What do I see? How do I feel? Mm. So I'm taking and I, the movement. I just want to see the birds flying off when I hear that song. It's that movement. The softness. The purity. Bird song is that purity, beautiful, the innocence, the joy, bring it in. So you can see it's beginning to grow. 
And it's just working on it, listening and really just losing yourself completely in the whole music and movement and color of the bird song. Just allow yourself to get lost in it. Beautiful. And I think I'm going to add some color. There's softness here. Pink. Pink. I see pink. So that's just another color being added. So you can see how it's building up and it's just playing with it, moving with it feeling it, all about feeling. Continue building up, listening to that beautiful music, bird song, just really flowing. Just adding colors, whatever feels right for you. Smudging it in. It's my favorite part, and yes, you get messy. That's all the fun. That's part of the fun. I love those colors blending together. Gorgeous. Feeling, feeling that happiness that birds make me feel. So for this one, for this bird song, which I did just last week, um, I used exactly the same um, technique um, other than I've, I've smudged the pastels, I've added oil, and then I've scraped around, um, which with a very unusual item, um, a skewer, <laughs> but it had a great effect. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now with this piece. So in this one, I'm using my oil pastels, um, just feeling that beautiful, beautiful joy and movement and color for the bird song. And then, I'm merging, smudging, and this is where it gets really wonderful. And you can use your fingers. What I really love to do to get the movement and the flow is to add some coconut oil. So some coconut oil. And a lot of people use a rag or a piece of cloth, but you know, <laughs> you can't beat just get it on your fingers. I mean, there's that contact, that connection when you're actually doing it with your with your fingers, really feeling it. And just the color, the vibrancy that you get, it's just beautiful. So you're just moving that around, feeling the music as you go, that joy, that beauty. Oh, it's lovely, moving. And so before we start um, using our, our skewer to create that movement, yet yeah, another texture, um, we want to allow it to dry. 